We're hearing from a man who came upon the scene of one of today's murders where Valerie Short and her father were killed. Also tonight, within the past hour, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement wrapped up its investigation on the property where Murray Lancaster was found dead this afternoon at his own hand. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker is there. Francesca, the Lancaster family must be grief-stricken, too. Tom, definitely, and they live in the home that you see behind me. You know, these are two families that are very heavily, deeply rooted here in this small-knit community of Green, of Green Cove Springs. And tonight, we were outside their home just a couple of hours ago as they came back home, embracing each other, very, very long hugs, I'm sure, just trying to figure out what went wrong. He made contact with the school, wanted to say goodbye to his kids because he was going on a long business trip. Officials from the Green Cove Springs Police Department believe this was a plan that has been in the works for quite some time. And on May 3rd, 40-year-old Murray Lancaster carried it out when the two-time divorcee visited his ex-girlfriend's place of work just hours before an incident the night before. We don't know what his mindset was. We don't know what the triggers were. Um, he did attempt to make contact with her last night, um, so it's unfortunate. Though officials didn't want to get into those details, we did learn the former couple had issues. Officials say in March, Lancaster was arrested on a battery charge involving his girlfriend, Valerie Short. We're told he had a no contact order in place and failed to comply. According to police, Lancaster followed his ex-girlfriend to her place of work Tuesday morning and then kidnapped her at gunpoint. The two then traveled to this country club where her father was working on construction. Police say Lancaster shot and killed them both. Raymond Smith was driving along that road just minutes after the shooting. Because I'm thinking it's a car accident because I see the windshield all busted out. And I look and notice the guy is unconscious. So I asked the lady, is he OK, thinking that might be his wife. But she's so shook and terrified, all she could really say is, there's, there's a green truck. Go follow. There's a green truck, green truck. Like the guy just left. And I was like, well, he just hit and ran. And she was like, no, he just shot him. He just killed him. After that shooting, police say Lancaster would then go to this landfill where his ex-wife was working. Police say he shot and killed her as well. Then he made his way to his family's red barn where he would finish the plan by turning the gun on himself. Co-workers tell News for Jacks Lancaster had been having issues with his ex-girlfriend and her father for quite some time, but they didn't think this would ever be his solution. And Charles E. Bennett uh, Elementary School is where the two children of Valerie uh, actually attend that school and Erica Green Lancaster, her two children, attend that school as well. So I am told by officials that there will be grief counselors at that elementary school tomorrow morning. Coming up at 11 o'clock, we're looking further into the background, the criminal history of this man. And our reporting live for Chess Gamaker Channel 4, the local station.